If you've ever switched between Android and iOS, you might know that both Google and Apple offer their own apps that you can use to transfer over basic data like messages, contacts, photos, and videos. It's not always possible to transfer app data between ecosystems, but there are some exceptions. In this case, we'll be talking about WhatsApp. Individually, both iOS and Android can back up my WhatsApp messages. So why can't I just restore my Android backup on my iPhone? Well, that's because Android uses Google Drive to back up apps and iPhone uses iCloud. So they don't really work together, not officially anyway. So what if you wanna move your WhatsApp data from Android to iOS? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today using the Mobile Trans app by Wondershare, who is also sponsoring today's video. Here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need a computer, and whether that's Mac or Windows is up to you. Then you're also gonna need the phone that you're transmitting device data from. In my case, I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra that I'm gonna bring the WhatsApp data from, and I'm going to load it onto this new iPhone 13. You're also going to need both cables to connect each device to the computer. I've already downloaded the installer here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and go ahead and let it download and do its thing. So while that's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the iPhone iCloud settings and make sure that I don't have any WhatsApp backups on iCloud. To do that, go to your settings, click on your name, and then go down to iCloud, manage storage, and you're gonna look for WhatsApp Messenger, tap on that, and you're gonna hit delete data, delete. So here is the Mobile Trans app. Now, it's worth noting, this is the free version, which only lets you back up WhatsApp data from your device. Now, you're not gonna be able to restore this backup unless you've purchased a license. So make sure you purchase the license before proceeding with the transfer, or if you're trying to restore a backup. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account and restore my purchase. Just so you know, each license will have a limited number of devices that you can transfer data onto. And every time you plug a new device into the app, it will deplete one of those licenses. So just keep that in mind. So once you start the app, there are a few options here under WhatsApp transfer. You have the regular WhatsApp transfer, which is what we're gonna be doing today between my Android and iPhone. There's also the WhatsApp business transfer. If you use a WhatsApp business account and you wanna move between devices, that's what will help you do that as well. There is the GB WhatsApp transfer if you are into using that version of WhatsApp. And there's also options to transfer data from other messaging apps, including Line, Kick, Viber, and WeChat. But there are some limitations to the way that you can transfer data between these applications. The Mobile Trans app also doubles as a switching program. So you can use it to move data between devices but it's only gonna move that basic information like I mentioned earlier, which is gonna be your contacts, images, videos, and your messages. There are import and export options here as well, and there's even an option to restore from iCloud. Then under the backup and restore tab, there's an iTunes restore feature, which lets you restore an old iTunes backup directly onto an Android phone using the Mobile Trans app. There's also a feature that will help you restore WhatsApp data that you might have deleted by accident. There's also an app backup and restore feature, which will only backup information from the selected apps that are here on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit WhatsApp transfer to get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the Android on the left side and the iPhone on the right side. So just make sure that when you connect the devices, you might have to hit allow so that the device is allowed to speak to your phone. So now I have both devices connected on the Mobile Trans app, and I have the source as my Samsung phone, and I have destination as Enrique's iPhone. So all the WhatsApp data that's gonna transfer over includes messages, group messages, starred messages, photos, videos, audio. So something that you might run into while you're doing this is you might get this message showing you to enable USB debugging, and you're gonna to have to do this. But the good news is that it tells you step-by-step step exactly what you have to do in order to get it done. It tells me to go to About Phone, and then Software Information, and then Build Number, which I'd have to then tap seven times. Now, I've already enabled Developer Mode, so I can go ahead and head back and go to Developer Options, and then I can enable USB debugging. Now, the reason it needs to enable this is so that the app 
can tell the phone exactly what to do in order to get this transition done. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. It says ensure your Android phone stays unlocked and then click next. Please confirm whether to keep the existing WhatsApp data on Enrique's iPhone. I am gonna hit no because there is no data on this iPhone pertaining to WhatsApp. I'm gonna hit next. No WhatsApp is detected on the device. Please install WhatsApp first. So it's asking me to install WhatsApp on the device first. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the App Store and download WhatsApp. Here it is, WhatsApp Messenger, and open. Okay, it's there, installed. Okay, so before I can proceed, it's telling me I have to go into the WhatsApp settings and turn off Google backups for WhatsApp. Then go to chats, and then go down to chat backup, and then I have to go to backup to Google Drive, make sure that I was on never. And then I can go back, and I can hit next and continue with the process. So it's gonna be like closing and opening and closing the app a couple times. It's actually going to go ahead and install an older version of WhatsApp so that the data transfer is possible. So again, this is a very involved process. It's not really just a one click. You have to go ahead and follow the steps that the app is telling you to do so that you can continue the transfer properly. So now as you can see on the computer, the app data is being backed up to my computer. This could take a few minutes, and in my case, it's gonna take a little while because I have about eight to 10 gigabytes of WhatsApp data on this phone. All right, so my Android just finished its backup, and now the app is asking me to log into the new phone using my WhatsApp account. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and log into WhatsApp with my phone number. Okay, I it says, Log in and continue. Okay, next. So now it's telling me to go ahead and go into my settings and turn off Find My iPhone. Okay, turned it off. Now I'm gonna hit next. Generating restoration data. That's gonna take a little while. So it looks like it's went ahead and started the restoration process on 0%. So it still shows restore from iCloud, so I'm not sure if this is the correct thing to do. So partway into the last step of the process, it actually put my iPhone in the restoration mode. So the mobile trans app is actually interfacing with that internal restoration system. So as soon as this restoration step finishes, the iPhone will restart itself. And then when I open WhatsApp, all my data will be there. So the app is telling me that the restoration is complete. The very last step has completed and the iPhone has restarted itself. Now I opened WhatsApp and I'm faced with this screen here. It says restore from iCloud, no backup found, skip restore. I'm assuming I have to skip restore. Okay, so now I have to put my name. So all of my data is here, all my messages, dating all the way back to 2015, which probably have to get deleted, a bunch of those. But I, I, I can go to the last chat, my family chat, and see if all my photos are there. Media links and documents, 206. Yeah, all my messages are here, all my photos are here. So that's a complete restore. All my pictures are here. All of the information from WhatsApp that was previously on my Android phone is now on this new iPhone. And it's all thanks to the mobile trans app by Wondershare. Thanks again, Wondershare, for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna download Wondershare's uh, mobile trans app to do the same kind of transfer, you can go ahead and use the link in our description to do that right now. So. Thanks again, Wondershare, and have a great one, everybody. Take care.